keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the button below. Hello, Chris here from footballbetdata.com, uh, bringing you another video regarding uh, another edition that we've made or just about to make to the site. Uh, it impacts on the example download, so it's another uh, free available file that's accessible to all, downloadable to all, uh, and works really nicely with, uh, with our outputs now. The outputs can be done from the data dashboard or from the fixtures and results, uh, whichever is your preference. This is probably the easier because it's pure fixtures and results. There's no other filters apart from the league and the season, uh, whereas the data dashboard, obviously, you've got more filter control on there. Um, and the way that this file works is using a four seasons uh, data. So uh, probably best to use to use this one, but as the outputs are in the same format, you can use either. So like I said, I'm going to be adding uh, this new file to the site later on today. Um, it's another Poisson file. So we've done several videos over the years on Poisson, uh, how you can use it, and what it means. And there's a ton of other additional calculation related info on the internet if you wanted to, to deep dive into that. But the video today is going to be showing you how you can use the file and how you can potentially benefit from it. Um, we do have on our example download page already an existing Poisson file. Now the difference between the two is the existing one is more aimed at looking at uh, one game at a time. Uh, it covers all of the markets so it gives you the, um, the, the, the true odds or the Poisson odds if you like for, for several markets but you can only look at one game at a time. Now the file we're looking at today, the new one that we're going to add in, allows you to look at a batch of games for the same league in one go. Um, and that's uh, that's how that one benefits. It also allows you to look at the most likely score outcomes and whether there's a potential for a um, value uh, selection based on the Poisson data alone. So let's get into the sheet itself. Uh, here's the sheet and it will be pre-populated with um, English Championship data. Um, now, obviously, you can, if you're not interested in that league or want to look at other leagues, that data can be deleted, overwritten, exactly what the sheet is for. Uh, and I'm going to talk you through how to do that. We'll, we'll import another uh, another league into this um, worksheet and show you how easy it is to do. But before I do that, I'm just going to talk you through the columns and how the sheet is formatted. So columns A to Y, these are the ones that we're going to be interested in as our data input. This comes straight from the FBD exports, like I said, either the fixtures and results. Uh, page or the data dashboard straight in to, uh, to the A to Y on uh, on this new Poisson sheet. There's a few hidden columns just to keep it tidy and a bit more condensed. Um, they're not really used or needed at all uh, in, in the calculations and the, the, sh the workings of the sheet. So that's why they've been hidden away. Um, and I'm going to focus on the, the sheets that you can see, uh, the, the columns that you can see in front of you. So it is important to, to note that the, the sheets are designed as a one league, one season per sheet. So if you wanted to look at multiple leagues, uh, absolutely fine to do so. You can do that concurrently, but you need to have separate worksheets. Um, don't contaminate one uh, sheet with multiple leagues because where it's designed to work and set up, it won't work. It won't uh, return you any um, calculations of note. So keep the, keep the uh, league separate and keep the season separate. There's no point putting two, three, four, five, six uh, different uh, seasons into one sheet. Again, that won't work. It's one season, one league per sheet, but nothing to stop you having multiple sheets on the go. So let's overwrite this data. Now, first of all, actually, what is worth noting is that obviously leagues have differing amounts of games. This is the English Championship. 552 games per season. Uh, English Premiership, for instance, less teams, so there's only 380 um, games per season. So just make sure that if you are overwriting or pasting anything in, you're not contaminating it, you haven't got legacy data down the bottom, you clear all of that out, or you paste over it to make sure that you're, you're not pulling in, um, adding data from one uh, league to another by not clearing it down. So that is a, an important thing to mention. Uh, and make sure you start at the top, column A, uh, through to Y. So let's go back to our uh, website, and we're going to go to the uh, Fixtures and Results tab, and let's look at the English League 1, because we do have games being played there uh, tonight. We'll export that to Excel. 
and that will download very quickly for us and open up. And like I said, we need to use columns A to Y. So we can select all of those, go back to our Poisson sheet and simply paste in. Now I've pasted all those columns, so you shouldn't have any legacy data in here. Now there's a game missing. There's a, a game that's been postponed in that league and yet to be rearranged. And it's the Reading uh, Bolton game due to the, um, the protests that they recently had. So there's one game less in this um, in this league as it stands until that a new date is scheduled for, for that game. Um, but we can see here, we've got just League One data um, in here. So we're ready to use the uh, the sheet. So let's scroll to the right hand side and see what we have. Now we have two pivot tables here. Now you can see that these still contain the data from the English Championship because we've not refreshed these. We've pasted the new data in, but we've not done a refresh. And that's why we have this button here. So simply click this and that will refresh our pivot tables. And that gives you your list of teams for the English League One alphabetically sorted, um, home and away. And what these are basically doing, like I said, I'm not going to delve too much into the, the inner workings and the calculations, but basically it's showing the, uh, the, the amount of goals Barnsley on average score at home and concede. And then that gives a um, home attacking score and a home defensive score. So it's basically using their um, their average goals against the league average goals to give each team a attacking a defensive score. And it does the same for how they perform away. So home and away is treated separately. Okay, so make sure you update anytime you add new results or new leagues, make sure you click this one to, to ensure that the, the latest data is pulling through. Now, if we go to the right hand side a bit more, you can see here again we've got data from the English Championship for the games that are happening this week or midweek um, and we want to replace that with the games that are upcoming for English League uh, English League One so if I scroll to uh, the games for this season sorry this week all happening uh, tonight copy those and I can go back up to the top and we want to be using this yellow area here. The sheet will actually stop you from pasting into incorrect um, areas that, where there's formula, so you're not overwriting the formula. And we can paste in these selections, okay? And we also can take out the, uh, the odds from these games, and we can replace these with the odds as they stand. Now, obviously, before a game has been played, the odds will um, will change up, up and uh, towards kickoff time. So what these were from this morning, so that they're likely to change the, the nearer we get to kickoff time. Let's paste all of these in. So we're going to use the bet for odds. You can use the uh, average bookmaker odds entirely up to you. I'm going to just use the bet for exchange odds as they were uh, at 2 a.m. this morning and the site updated. And then the away odds. So we also have in here our obviously our score predictions. So these are a little bit more complex than Poisson. Uh, we have our predictions and the predicted uh, odds. They're hidden away actually. The predicted home drawn away odds. Again, like I said, they're a little bit more complex than uh, than Poisson. So this is another approach, another way which you can do it. I know some people are big fans of Poisson, so hopefully the sheet just allows you to, to check and calculate these things easily without having to do all the, uh, the workings yourself. So there we go. We've inputted the games for midweek. Now, what it's doing here is showing you we've got highlighted cells. Now, these can be ignored or um, treated how you, how you fancy, but essentially what it's highlighting is where there is potential value. So you can see here that Burton Carlisle, uh, it's highlighting the predicted home odds are 1.84. The actual uh, home odds, Betfair home odds, are 2.35. Now that obviously, again, like I said, might have changed. So depending where you want to use these and what time of day you'll be looking at it, uh, those odds are changeable. So, you know, these can be inputted manually. But at time of uh, receiving these odds, there was a, a potential home uh, value bet on Burton. 
Now, what it does is looks down here to make sure that the home win percentage is greater than 50%, 50 um, and the same for draw and away win. So it will show you where there's value, but then um, it also considers where there is a greater likelihood of a home win than not. So over 50%, and the same with, um, like I said, with the draw and the away wins as well. So this is where we've put that in. You know, that's just something that I've added to the sheet to give a bit of a, a visual up to you how you use it, whether you want to use that entirely up to you. Uh, but that's explaining what it does and where there's potential value. Uh, the next thing we have are the five most likely uh, score outcomes based on Croissant. Now, the one thing to mention about Croissant and the reason why our score predictions are a little bit more detailed, the ones that we uh, include on our sheet here, um, Poisson tends to favour the 1-1 one, one and the 2-1 scoreline overly favour. So that's the potential downfall with Poisson. Uh, it can um, over favour those particular score lines. But um, we have five in here um, and I know that people are quite keen. We've been asked, you know, how accurate can that be? Um, we have shown here the five most likely score predictions based on Poisson calculations for each game. So you will see here there are quite a lot of 1-1s one in most of these games. There's a one all. I think it's Peterborough, uh, Port, Port Vale, where it's all home wins and by different score lines. Also uh, saying it's a home value on Peterborough here. Um, but most of these other games do contain a 1-1 one, one somewhere in there, even if it's not the first, it's uh, it's certainly in the in the top five. So that backs up my um, and a lot of other people's views on Poisson that it, it does overly favour the 1-1. One, one. So that's essentially what this sheet can be used for. It can be used to show you where there's uh, where what the Poisson home a draw and away odds are uh, compared to the actual odds on offer the top five most likely score outcomes. And then we have all the workings. Now these are locked out, so you can't edit these. And I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this, but these are basically all the sums involved to generate the likelihood of a home team and away team scoring uh, between naught and five goals. Um, and then it gives you the likelihood of these score outcomes here. Um, and then the home win draw and away win. So that's how all of these uh, summary scores if you like down here are calculated and i've left those on there you can hide those away if you're uh, not interested in seeing them but it, it's um it keeps it there so you can you can see exactly how these sums are calculated uh, one more thing to note as well just a bit further down uh, just to make sure you don't delete this um, we have um, a reference here so one that we have the scores basically taken from the header we have these in line 31 so just make sure you do not delete those. Like I said, those cells are locked, so you can't click and edit those cells, but those are there as a reference uh, based on two hidden columns that we have here. And that just allows these calculations to work and flow nicely. So um, I wouldn't recommend putting any more than 12 games in here. So you know, if you're looking to add next weekend's um, games in here, you obviously haven't had the result of the midweek games in there yet so the accuracy the further you go out will be less because the more data you can feed into here the more accurate the um the pros on tables bec become and therefore the more accurate that these become um one final thing i will say i do say it on most of our videos but this is data data can only lead you to uh, a viewpoint so far there are other factors, certainly with football, there can be more variables because you've got 11, 12, 16 players potentially for each team playing. You have a manager, you have backroom staff, you have travel, um, you have weather, you have a referee, um, you have crowd bias as well. So there are a lot of other factors that can play a part in uh, the reason why a scoreline will not happen or a result will not happen, whereas the data points everything points towards that. Um, so do obviously, as always, bear that in mind. But hopefully those of you that have asked and those of you that are interested will find this Poisson edition to our example download um, page 
uh, of use. Thank you very much.